Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm rolling through the off-season of my Madden 19 Browns rebuild. Alright guys, so this is the off-season. I'm going to go ahead and take a couple breaks as I do this, put it all together in one video, um, so you don't have to watch me making offers and all this sort of stuff. So, uh, this is the off-season here, I am in... The very first week of the offseason to sign free agents, I did uh, go ahead and franchise Michael Kendrick. Uh, he didn't want to resign with my team. He was his right side linebacker. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to trade him um, so I at least get something for him. First thing I'm going to do, though, is can I set any coach goals yet? No, I cannot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change up my scheme. Uh, I was running a uh it, before it was a uh it was a vertical power run but i'm gonna change that to a vertical zone run i'd rather have an elusive back than a power back um so i'm gonna go ahead and see how that works i do like that a little better i'm gonna keep a multiple three four here i'm gonna look at some playbooks i'm probably gonna either create one or see something else but um, that's my biggest change is because I'm going to change it to where I want an elusive back instead of a power back because power backs just aren't my my thing. So I'm going to go ahead and jump out here. I'm going to go through my roster real quick. I'm going to throw a few people on the trade block um, and then see if I can get anything from them. And then I'm going to probably take a break, try to do some trades, uh, set up free agents, things like that. So um, as of right now, there's nobody here. Um, I can trade. I'm going to go ahead and try to put Carlos Hyde on the trade block. See if anybody will offer me anything for him. I do not have any fullbacks. My wide receivers. Uh, I'm gonna. Corey Coleman is about to be a free agent, but I'm going after the season. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and put him on the trade block too to see if I can get anything for him. Um, he was all right, but I'm, he doesn't even play for the Browns anymore. I'm not. I'm not too worried about it. So. Um, tight ends here. I'm good with those. I'm going to go through and actually trim the fat, trim off some of these real low, low, uh, rated players. Um, two, when I take a quick break, I'm a uh, 99% sure I'm going to move Joel Batonio over to left tackle because I need a tackle and he's the best lineman I have. Um, I really, but I'm going to see who I can get, you know, in the off season. Uh, I only have one center. He's so, so right guard. I'm probably going to move that right guard to, left guard when I move uh, Batonio over to tackle. So at least the left side of my line will be better so I can hopefully per, you know keep the blind side on Baker Mayfield better. And that right tackle is trash. Uh, I'm going to put him on the trade block. I'm going to see if anybody will take him. He has a big ass contract, but I doubt anybody's going to trade for his ass. Um, I'm good with my left ends here. I'm not going to do anything with those. I'm good with these guys. Defensive tackles. I'm going to keep them for now. My left outside linebacker. He has a big contract. I'm going to try to trade him. See if anybody wants his ass. I doubt they're going to. So I guess I'm going to have to eat, eat his contract for a little while. These guys are just fucking garbage. Uh, and then Michael Kendrick's here. So I'm going to go ahead and put him on the trade block too. So I can get something for him. Uh, cornerbacks. This guy, he's getting old and he has a pretty big contract. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put him on the trade block. To see if I can uh, get anything for him. Because I don't really like the cornerbacks when they get up in age like that. They start declining pretty good. Randall, it's his last season with the or last year with the team. Um, I already have a full safety or full, free safety that's 84 um, that I have signed for quite a few years. So I'm going to put Demarius Randall out on the trade block as well because I might be able to get something for him. I'm not too concerned about my free safety because my strong safety, I have a good strong safety and I have Peppers who's a backup who can be my backup free and strong safety. So I'm not worried about that. My kicker, I'll probably hang on to him. Uh, punters, I kind of want to get rid of Colquitt and keep this guy, but it's going to give me a cap penalty. I'm going to throw him on the trade block. I doubt anybody's going to get him. So there's that. Um, 
So once again, here's my picks. I may try to do some trades. I may trade away some of these draft picks to see if I can get uh, any better players to upgrade my line, things like that. So um, just want to show you who is available in free agency. Before I, I simulate to the next week, um, I do want to – because right now I have $17 million in cap room. I'm going to try to get a little bit more. I'm going to probably do all I can to try to get Le'Veon Bell because I need a running back and – he fits and he's and he's really good. But if I can't get him, I may go ahead and try to get. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'm gonna screw around. I may even try to get Amir Abdul, somebody I can pick up that isn't super expensive. Obviously, Bell would be. Maybe I can trade for one. I don't know. So uh, and then when, it, as far as it comes to linemen, there aren't any left tackles. Like the best left tackle is a 78. So I'm going to have to move Batonio over because even if I draft one, he's not going to be up to par. So where is there anybody in look? Even their centers, right guards. So I already have a right guard that's at 80 if I do uh, move him over. So I may be able to uh, may be able to pull something out of that and right tackles. There's a couple, there's a couple right tackles here. I mean – Obviously, that guy would be amazing if I could get him. It probably would be worth it to try to sign him. So then when we get into the linebackers, that's something else I need. Uh, Clay Matthews, who's who's old now. Um, I mean, there's a couple guys who are all right here. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i go through who I actually am going to try to make an offer to. I'm going to take some time to like sit down and look at it here. So um, I will go ahead and see what I can do here. I'm going to cut some players, make a few offers, come back, and then we'll see who anybody tried to take and who anybody tried to, and if I'm able to make any moves. So, all right, I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, what I've done, I went in and went through the roster. I trimmed off some fat, just some really low players with no kind of cap penalty in the 60s to get rid of. I think they were my former practice squad players. Um, I also I did move uh, Joel Batonio over to left tackle. Uh, so now my left tackle is, is solidified. I don't have to worry about that for a while. Um, there was no good free agent, so at least I have him here at left tackle. I also moved uh, this guy, Kevin Zeitler, over to my left guard. So my left guard and my left tackle are pretty fortified. I'll probably end up drafting some other linemen to fill out the, the right side of the line, but at least the blind side and the quarterback will be a little better protected. The other thing I did, I traded for Tariq Cohen. Um, basically, I traded Carlos Hyde, who I didn't want anymore anyways, and a sixth-round pick to the Bears for Tariq Cohen. He has two years left on his contract. He's an elusive back. He's fast. Um, so I'm probably not going to try to sign Le'Veon Bell, only because I had such trouble rushing last season that I'm a little lenient to spend that much money on a running back when I have so many other holes. So I have two years with him. Between him and Chubb, I figure that I can do something good. I can swap him in and out uh, and see how, how it goes. We'll, we'll see. So basically, um, then I went in here and uh, my free agents, I'll go ahead and show you who I've put offers in for and I'm going to forward the week and get to my trade offers and all of that. So uh, my negotiations, I went and put in an offer for Trent Brown, who's a right tackle. I'd love to solidify that, but I'm ninth in the top bids. If you look over on the other side, I don't think that's going to come to fruition. Uh, I tried to get a little depth at my linebacker, or I'm sorry, my defensive tackle position with this Mitchell Lowen. Uh, another little bit of depth in the mid 70s for my middle linebackers. Uh, try to get some depth on my left tackle. Um, I'm a little low on the bids on some of these, but I'm going to run it through. We'll see how it goes. Uh, another some right guard depth, and then I need a fullback. That's the best. He's only ran 68, but he has a really good lead block. And he also has some run block. I mean, the other guys were trash, and I'm not going to waste a draft pick on a fullback. So that's pretty much where I'm at. I only put in these six offers to start. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and simulate this to the next week. It just says Baker Mayfield's healthy again. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next week and see what happens here. So... All combines, dun, 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 dun. All right, so I can scout here. He rejected it, rejected it, rejected it. All right, so I got some some right guard depth. 
the fullback rejected. I got to go in and look at his thing again. And I got some defensive tackle depth. I didn't get any offers for any of the guys I have on the trade block here. And then uh, I can go ahead and go in. I got to scout these players, which I pretty much have scouted everyone except for like quarterbacks and wide receivers and stuff. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break again. I'm going to go ahead and go in and see if there's any other free agents I want to make offers to, things like that. And then I'm going to maybe try to do another trade or so. Since no one offered for Michael Kendricks, I may try to trade him for somebody or that wide receiver. So, all right, guys, I will be right back um, once I get this stuff set up. And then we'll go through it and see what happened. Okay, guys, I'm back. I uh, went ahead and did do another trade. I traded away that linebacker that didn't want to sign me, Michael Kendrick, and the cornerback that I was trying to trade, who had a really high contract, was almost 30. I traded them away. I got um, – so I freed up some cap space, which was a big deal. And then I got a fullback, who's now a 76, uh, Trey Madden, uh, who's, I mean, will be, he was far and away better than anyone I could have picked up or drafted. And then I got, uh, Shakreem Griffin, who's a young, a young player, uh, quick. I mean, he's better than the Rapsal right linebacker I have. And then I went ahead and moved uh, Christian Kirksey over to left outside linebacker. He's an 80. He's better than Jamie Collins. So that's what I did there. Um, that's the only moves I made as far as trades go. I did get a fourth round pick, but not for this draft for next year. And then I went ahead in my free agents here. I made two more offers, just quick offers to see. I want to try to get a little bit of cornerback depth since I traded that cornerback and a little bit more middle linebacker depth before I hit the draft. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and forward this on to the next week. And we will see if I sign them and if anybody else they try to offer me. Let's see. I sign, Okay, I got both of them. So I have a little bit more depth, which is awesome. Uh, so I don't really need to draft a cornerback. And a middle linebacker, it helps because uh, he – I mean, just I have nobody. And I need a good, good solid core middle linebacker. So um, I don't really need – to do anything else before I go to the draft. Um, I'm going to go ahead and scout these players real quick. I don't have, I already scouted just about everybody because um, I have a lot of scouting points for whatever reason. Uh, so let me go ahead and run through. There's not really anybody I need to scout to be completely honest. So um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and skip it because everything I have uh Unscouted isn't anybody I'm going to draft. I'm not going to draft first strong quarterbacks or free safeties or strong safeties because I have I have enough depth in those positions. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, forward this over to the f next free agent uh, signing because there's no other free agents I want to sign. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and advance to the next week. And we will go ahead and I believe... Oh, I finally have a trade offer for that free safety. Uh, let me see here. What what, what are they going to offer for him? A fourth and a sixth. I don't know, fuck that. I'll just keep him. He'll be gone at the end of the season anyways. I don't want a fourth and a sixth. It'd be better to have a little more depth um, because I already have quality players. So I was just curious if I get anything good. Um, this is the last scout. I don't need to scout anybody, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to the draft. And we will go ahead and start the draft. Start the draft when you're ready. All right, so let's go ahead and start it here. The Broncos are now on the clock. I'm gonna pause this though, so I have time to look. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead in the draft to the next user pick. I'm not gonna be trading for picks or anything. So let's go ahead and get to my pick. All right, so I can trade away the pick. Let me see who's here. Who's available um, for me scouted? All right. As far as what I need, um, there's a right outside linebacker, a left tackle. That's a set, but that's you're getting into second round talent at that point. Um, so I do need a right outside linebacker more than I need a left end, or I need because my linebacking core is pretty weak. Um, 
let me see here. What is what's available for middle linebackers? Because that's a really big need. Nobody until the third. All right, I got that guy. His hit power is tackling and block shedding. He's, he's probably going to be pretty damn good. I mean, I just traded for that right outside linebacker, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, let me see where I'm looking here. Left tackle. I I got that guy. I could probably switch him to right tackle. Um, how about what's what are my centers and guards and right tackles? Whew. There's not much not much here, guys. All right. Let me see what they want to trade me for this pick if I could trade it. I could get a second round next year. So nobody even wants to give me a first round pick for this pick. So I'm going to go and take that right outside linebacker because he's going to, I need to make my uh, linebacking core better. And he is uh, the best. He had a combat grade of seven too. So, um, all right, let's see what we do here. I'm going to go ahead and take Johnny Dawson. All right, Texans you've reached. Wait, oh wait, that's not right. You, he's ranked number four in true talent. I drank it. I drafted him at number one. He's not. Num this is not number one. He's number twenty-three. I think that may be broken. So, all right. So that's not bad. All right, he's he's an eighty-two. He's already better than anybody I have. So, is he going to walk out on the stage? I don't know how this works. All right, so skip ahead in the draft to the next user pick. And we'll go ahead and get to my second round pick. All right, let's see if I can get some depth. The Browns are now All right, make my selection. Pick player. All right, who we got here? Who is the scouted? All right, let's see. Left hat. God damn, man. I need a right guard. He's a third round talent. Early third round. Um, I do need a right guard bad. What's this? I don't. I'm not gonna drop that guy. Left tackle. I'm good. He's he's a mid second rounder, which is where I'm at. Uh, so his talent is there. I can grab him. I can move him over to right tackle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, the Texans. I don't. Yeah, he's 44 in true talent. I took him at number one again. Uh, so. All right, so 76, that's already an upgrade. So, I mean, it's cool, two, two picks, two upgrades. I'm I'm already uh, missing the next user pick, so that's that's already positive for me. So, let's see here. I got I get the last pick of this round, too. So, let me go and make my selection. Pick player. All right, who we got here? Scouted. All right, who is left? So, the next thing I have is a fourth round Middle linebacker. Does he have third round talent? He does not. Early fourth round. His coverage pursuit, his hit power. He's fast. Um, let's see here. This guy it no, that's it. They're all fourth round guys, huh? Alright, let's see what this defensive tackle. Any of these guys, they all have early fourth round. Left tackle, left end, or outside linebacker. Oh, these are he's a little better. Does any of these guys have pursuit block shedding? And tackling. I can get these guys at the end of the first. So maybe if I grab... Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this guy here and then grab another middle linebacker in the, at the end of the third round because that's really where I'm at. So let me go ahead and take this guy. I need, I need a couple middle linebackers, so we'll go and draft him. You reached. Number 53. He's 75. I mean, pff, it's not too bad. Alright, so we'll go ahead and skip ahead in the draft. Advance to the next user pick. There we go. I'll make my selection, pick player, and scout it. All right, so back down here to these middle linebackers. This guy, he has B-plus pursuit, block shedding, and B-minus tackle. Um, I think I'm going to – oh, there's a – what is he, mid-round? Late fourth round. I should be able to grab him. All right, so I'm going to grab this other middle linebacker here because I need to bolster my middle linebacking core. He is uh ooh, that was a reach for sure. But eh, whatever. At this point in the draft, what am I gonna do? You know what I mean? So my next pick is uh, round four, number twenty-three. So I'm gonna go ahead and simulate out to that. 
the Browns are now on the clock. All right, I'll go ahead and make my selection. Pick player. Who is left? Nobody. All right, let's see here. Uh, scouted. All right, so there is... Who did I already take? I took a left tackle. There's a right guard here. Who else is left? Um, all right, I guess I'll take the right guard. He doesn't look very good, but... Um, I mean, it's fourth round talent, right? Uh, I guess I'll take this guard, huh? Yeah, there's not very many guys left here. So I'll go ahead and take this guard. He's going to be kind of shitty, I'm sure. So, yeah, 73. He's still, <laughs> sadly enough, he's probably, um, about as good as my guys that I have. So let's give it in the draft. It's the next user pick. See if we can get any more lineman depth. God, I wish I could have got some more lineman depth. That really sucks. So, all right. Um, Who we got here? Oop, let's see who I scouted. So I've taken two linebackers, three linebackers, which was a need, and then two two linemen um let me get back to my scouted here okay um and i'm gonna see who the hell is available here uh ain't gonna hurt to take some more depth at offensive line and all right are now on the clock He's in there, and that'll be my last pick. It'll be somebody, uh, somebody trash. So, Let's see, go ahead and get into here. Let's see who I can get with this last pick. The Browns are now on. All the right, block. let's see who's left. Probably nobody. They're probably all garbage. I'll probably trade this pick away. Oh, scouted. All right, so I guess. This guy, this running back, just still happens to be hanging out. So I guess I'll pick him since he's a fourth-round talent and he's still there in the seventh round. So, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, skip ahead in the draft. Next user pick, which is none. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and look at my draft recap here. See, so we can see who I picked up in the draft. We got a uh, overall 82, 76, 75, 73, 73, and 75, which is actually upgrades for some of the positions that I took. So we'll go ahead and advance. Let's see, I can adjust the roster. So, all right, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, get this finished up. I'm going to simulate through the preseason and uh, fill my roster with any sort of uh, holes I need. And then, uh, and then we'll get back to week two. So that is all the time that we have for today's episode of crazy town gaming. Please make sure to like subscribe and share the video. We also have a podcast it's available on iTunes and SoundCloud links are in the description for Jonas. I'll see you next week on season two, week one. I am out.